So now that you have some teriyaki sauce that you've chilled and cooled off and haven't thickened, well, what are you going to do with it? Well, let's make some teriyaki chicken. So. To a one gallon Ziploc bag, I'm going to take a pound of chicken thighs. I'm going to add about half of the sauce that we've made, unthickened, into the bag. And then I will try as much as I can to get as much air out of that bag as possible. When it comes to marinating things, meat, veggies, whatever, it's more about the amount of contact with the surface area than the amount of marinade. So. Don't need a whole lot of marinade, just need a lot of contact with the meat. So I'll put it into a glass baking dish. I'll toss it in the fridge and let it marinate overnight. And I'll toss it a couple times if I can remember. The next night when I'm ready to cook it, I'll take a sheet tray, line it with some aluminum foil, and I'll take that chicken out and I'll lay it, lay it out, spread it out. Again, there's just two of us, so for for us, one pound of, of chicken is plenty for dinner and lunch. If the weather is good, you'll see, you know, I'll show you a couple ways that you can cook it. Uh, if the weather's good, you can go outside and grill it. It does really good on the grill, or you can broil it. Now, I do take the marinade, and I will put it on the stove, and I'll bring it to a boil and thicken it. If you don't want to do that, just use some of the other sauce that you have. But like I said, if it's nice outside, this does really good on the grill. As you can see, this was from an earlier time when we made a lot of it. Not making so much of that this time. But it's a little cold here in the middle of winter in Missouri. So I'll use my indoor grill, which is my broiler, set to high. And I'll toss the chicken in there in about five minutes aside. Give it a flip, 10, 15 minutes. Get some nice color on the chicken you'll be perfectly good. And there's, towards the end, you can see all the sugars have started to caramelize and it gets wonderful. So here is the sauce in the pot. Uh, I've brought it up to a, just below a boil and I'll thicken it with a slurry of one-to-one -one cornstarch, tapioca starch, whatever you feel comfortable with using. And then you're ready to go.